Hello students. Uh, that was a very rushed ending to the last video, so I apologize for cutting you off before I got to talk about the cooldown. Let's go over the cooldown now before I have you plug in the answers into the Canvas quiz so that you can get some in-class participation points for the day. A scale drawing of a school bus has a scale of one half inch to five feet. As I read this, I'm going to start organizing some information. Here we're talking about the scale drawing, and that scale tells us how it relates to the actual object. So the scale is one half inch to five feet. So that means in the drawing I'm going to be measuring inches and in the actual real life that's going to represent feet. So if I, as I continue to read it says if the length of the school bus is four and a half inches what is the actual length going to be? Again, observe that I've already focused on inches changing into the feet. So now all I have to do is focus on how those numbers are changing. How is half an inch changing to five? How is half changing to five? Another way we can think about this is how many halves are in five? And that would be 10. So one half multiplied by 10 is five. That means I'm gonna take this four and a half, multiply it by 10, to get 45 feet. That takes care of the first problem there. And the second problem, a scale drawing of a lake has a scale of one centimeter to 80 meters. So I'm going to organize the information in the same way. We have our drawing, and it represents something in the real world with an actual length. So the drawing is one centimeter to 80 meters. And now it's saying if the actual width of the lake is 1,000 meters, we want to know how long would it be on the scale drawing. Now this one is not quite as straightforward, but I'm going to show you some other tools that we have that maybe you forgot about. We can start by moving forward and say, how does a 1 change to an 80? That's easy. We multiply by 80. So then the question is, how would I go in reverse? And this ties very closely into what we did in our previous lesson. Going one way, I multiply by 80. Going the other way, there's two ways that we can look at this. We can either multiply by 1 over 80 or 1 80th. We can also, and this might be a little bit easier, we can also divide by 80. Going forwards, we multiply. Going backwards, we would divide. Or you can look at it going forwards, we multiply by 80. So going backwards, we would multiply by the reciprocal 1 over 80. Either way, no matter how you decide to look at it, if I know the actual length is 1,000 meters, then I can take that, divide it by 80, and that will give me the drawing amount. How long or how wide is that lake going to be in the drawing? I am not going to give you the answer here. That is the one that you need to plug in um, along with your answers here. That's it for today. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.